Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I'm back with another top 10 video. In today's top 10 video, we are going to break down the best 4K Ultra HD Blu-rays available from the comic book superhero genre. Now, in my top 10 action movie video, I let you guys know that I didn't include any of these superhero movies because I wanted them to make their own list, and they certainly deserve their own list. There are Dozens of these movies that have come out over the last 30, 40 years, plenty of 4K discs to choose from, and they easily deserve their own top 10 list. So that's what we're doing today. These are comic book and superhero movies, and I'm going to rank them from the 10th best down to my favorite at number one based on the 4K presentation. So we're talking about 4K video quality, the audio quality, surround sound, home theater metrics versus how the movie was itself and how much I liked the movie. I would certainly rank these in a different way if it was based on my movie preferences, but in these lists, we're breaking down the best 4K discs to show off your home theater. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, you like physical media, you like DVD, Blu-ray, 4K collecting, you like home theater reviews, if you just like movies in general, I think you'll probably enjoy what I talk about. So please subscribe to the channel. Let's help us hit 100,000. That would be a huge goal for me and for the physical media community to have a channel with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers. It really hasn't been done yet, and I want to be the first to show people that we're still out here and we're still a thriving community. So if you enjoy this sort of stuff, subscribe and like the video, share the video, spread the word, and now let's jump right into this list. So I'm going to kick it off with number 10, and for this one I've chosen V for Vendetta. Now you may be thinking, that's not a comic book movie. Um, I've expanded this a little bit because this is a graphic novel. And so I would have included movies like um, Sin City or Ghost in the Shell or other things like that, which were graphic novels or mangas. I, I, I've included them and considered them in the list. And that's how V for Vendetta makes the list. Now, it is a 2K digital intermediate, so it's upscaled to 4K, but it was shot on 35 millimeters. So the 4K resolution here really helps with the grain. It makes for a much finer detail on the picture quality. It has great audio, especially some of those standout moments from this movie. No spoilers, even though it's 17 years old now. But it also was not a very good Blu-ray. It was an early Blu-ray release. It came out in sort of like the first wave of Blu-rays. And I thought it was kind of weak. It didn't use the best technology. And the 4K was a big leap in the right direction. And by far the best the movie's ever looked. So that's why it makes the number 10 spot. It's a great movie and one that you'll really enjoy on 4K that's well worth upgrading. Now in the number 9 spot, we're going to go with Aquaman. Now Aquaman is another 2K upscale, which you see a lot in superhero movies given how much CGI there is. CGI is usually rendered down at 2K and upscaled to 4K. But this was actually actually shot at a pretty high resolution outside of the CGI moments. It has great HDR usage and another great audio track. So it's a very worthy 4K demo disc, even though it's an upscale. And the movie is pretty fun to watch. There's a ton of great highlights, ton of great sound moments. Definitely one that you can impress your friends with when you show this off in your 4K theater. So I'd highly recommend grabbing this on 4K instead of the Blu-ray. I think that, you know, upgraded source, even though it is a 2K disc, digital intermediate they shot it at a very high resolution and the 4k favors that plus the hdr is the real standout here and you can't beat that so i'd go with the 4k over the blu-ray and definitely pick yourselves up a demo disc with aquaman now coming in at number eight i have what is actually the only mcu marvel studios disney movie on my list there are some marvel movies on the list but they're sony properties this is the only mcu disney title and i chose it mostly because it is just a blast to watch in 4K, and it's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The movie looks incredible. It is a much more colorful and fun movie than the first Guardians of the Galaxy, even though it's not as good as the first one. But it has a ton of great moments where the HDR really shines. Plus, it has one of the better audio tracks from any of these Disney releases. Now, if you've been following my channel, you know that the Marvel movies consistently struggle with decent HDR usage and Dolby Atmos sound. 
most of the movies like Avengers Endgame, the difference between your Blu-ray and your 4K disc is almost negligible. And the best version of these movies, unfortunately, is actually on Disney Plus, and it's that 4K IMAX enhanced stream. So that's the best way to watch them, and it's why I usually stay away from their 4K discs, because Disney and Marvel Studios, they just don't put the effort in on physical media. But I have to say, whether it's because James Gunn was behind this one and he supports physical or whatever the case, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 has the better audio of most of the MCU movies. It has better HDR usage. I think it looks a lot better. And it also was shot at a fairly high resolution, even though it is a 2K upscale. And that also lends itself very well to 4K. So I would recommend this one. This is one of the a handful of MCU movies that I'd buy on 4K. And I think this is the best of the bunch. Now at number seven, we have the first of a couple instances of Batman on this list. Um, and it is Batman versus Superman Dawn of Justice, but this is the ultimate edition. So there was a 4K release out there and then they re-released it with this ultimate edition. Sort of like Zack Snyder's Justice League, it has an enhanced aspect ratio, expanded picture, also has enhanced colors. They kind of went back and redid this and it sort of speaks to how badly Warner Brothers kind of fumbled the bag when it came to everything Zack Snyder did within the DC universe because every one of his movies has had to have had this like revamped, revisited version, even on physical disc. But this is by far the best that this movie's looked. This Ultimate Edition is the one to own. The expanded aspect ratio is great. The enhanced colors are much better. The audio is still excellent and absolute top 10 level stuff. And I talk about it much more in depth in a full review I did on my YouTube channel. So if you want to see that, there's like a 10, 12 minute full breakdown of this. But just know that if you're buying Batman vs Superman, it is a great 4K disc. And this is the version to own and is easily one of the top 10. If it wasn't for some really dark scenes and some moments that get a little bit muddy, this might have been higher on the list. But I think it's definitely the best presentation and a much upgraded version compared to the Blu-ray and the original original 4k release so i'd recommend this one for your collection at number seven now at number six we actually have the first and only animated movie on this list and i will be doing a top 10 animated 4k movie list and this one is a strong contender for the number one spot when it comes to that right now we've got it at number six on the superhero list and it is spider-man into the spider-verse this movie is a revelation in 4k for animation I was hesitant to buy animated movies on 4K because, again, a lot of the stuff was Disney Pixar. I wasn't super impressed. And then I watched Spider-Man to the Spider-Verse. 4K, Dolby Vision, HDR blew me away. This is how you do animated movies on 4K. The animation style is very unique and it lends itself very well to the 4K format. It's highly detailed. The colors are outstanding and it has an awesome soundtrack and great score that sounds fantastic so i'd highly recommend it this is easily uh one of the top two or three animated 4ks that you should demo your system with and it, it, it could be argued that it's maybe the prettiest movie on this list there are other movies which i like better on 4k and i think have better detail because they're shot on film or of higher resolution than animation but this is such a pretty movie it will just light up your room with the colors and the movie also it's great. So if you haven't seen it yet, definitely grab it. I'm looking forward to the sequel, and this is a must-have on 4K for your collection. So now in the number five spot, we're actually going to stick with Sony, and we're going to stick with Spider-Man, and I'm going to the original, the OG Tobey Maguire. Now, I did a full breakdown of this trilogy on 4K on my channel. You can go watch that review. But my favorite of the set, after having watched this a few times, is actually Spider-Man 2. I think I like that one the best. I also think it's the best movie of the three, but I love the audio on this. I love the 4K upgrade. These were shot on film, so you have some really nice detail now that they've been upscaled to 4K and rendered at true 4K with the film cells all being rescanned. Sony always does a great job, and this Spider-Man set was no joke. All three of them are great, but Spider-Man 2 was the real standout. The other two, I'd say, are honorable mentions and definitely deserve a 4K release in your collection. I would certainly buy the trilogy and there's a new release as well if you can't get this one but spider-man 2 is the standout i loved that movie i still think it holds up today it's excellent so well done and the 4k is a great disc so number five on the list is spider-man 2 but you certainly can't go wrong with spider
Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2, or Spider-Man 3 from this set. Now at number four, we're jumping back into DC, but this is before the DC Extended Universe. This is some Christopher Nolan Batman, and I chose The Dark Knight. The real reason I chose this one is because it's it's outstanding. It, it looks incredible. It's one of the best comic book movies ever made. But the IMAX scenes on this are what puts Disney to shame. The IMAX sequences from The Dark Knight look amazing in 4K. They fill the screen. They're incredibly detailed. And it just goes to show how much Marvel and Disney suck by not putting their IMAX scenes on the 4K discs because Warner Brothers has done it with a couple of titles, including one more that I'll show you, and it is a game changer. It is the best that any 4K disc looks when you get that full IMAX enhanced like uh, Mission Impossible Fallout has. I can't wait to see the new Top Gun movie on 4K Blu-ray. Like Those big IMAX sequences are just awesome. They are, are, are highlights of any movie, and The Dark Knight is loaded with them. Dark Knight Rises also has a ton, very good as well, but I just prefer The Dark Knight overall. I think it's a better quality movie, and I thought that the picture was a little more detailed, color was a little bit better, and I really love the score on this one, so the audio gets high marks, and that's why it comes in at number four. Now at number three, we've got probably the most recent movie on this list, and it's actually another James Gunn title, but this time... James Gunn with DC, and it is The Suicide Squad. Now, this movie was a great version of The Suicide Squad, much improved over the David Ayer Suicide Squad, which I don't really think has had its full day in the sun yet because we need to see David Ayer's cut. Warner Brothers messed with that just like they did Justice League. But anyway, The Suicide Squad looks awesome. It's 4K digital, so shot digitally, shot at high resolution, finished at 4K, beautiful colors a very vibrant movie and it has awesome awesome audio effects that are going to shake your room blow you away much better than anything disney can put out when it comes to atmos and that true 4k resolution is just so sharp amazingly sharp with digitally shot 4k movies so I loved it. The movie is much better. It's well worth adding to your collection. And it's one of the finest examples, and I, I continuously reference it, of these newer movies that are actually shot at a high resolution and get finished at 4K and how good they can really look. Um, it's just a, a blast from start to finish. And could have maybe even come in higher, but I have it in at number three. Now at number two, we're sticking with WB. We're sticking with Warner Brothers. We're sticking with DC. And we're actually going back to Zack Snyder with... Zack Snyder's Justice League. This had a very good chance at being the number one. I think there's one movie I like a lot better for number one. But the IMAX sequences in this and the, the different aspect ratio, this blows away the previous Justice League version as a movie. It blows it away visually. It has better sound, I think. It has way better audio moments. And it's just so, so detailed. I know some people get upset about the black bars being on the left and right of your screen, not making full use, but it's as close to an IMAX at home experience as I've had. It's extremely well crafted. It is so detailed. The 4K resolution is amazing. The HDR really enhances this image and it kind of gives it new life where the other Justice League was graded so dark and gloomy. Zack Snyder's Justice League definitely still has some dark moments, but it brings a lot more highlights to the movie. It's a little bit more vibrant. It's still dark. It's still a very dark movie. That's what Zack Snyder does. But it's a lot brighter and a little bit friendlier on your TV than the original Justice League. And whether you like the IMAX or not, I think this is the best version of the movie. It has the best audio. It has the best picture quality. And if you've only seen it on HBO Max, you're missing out because the true 4K here on 4K disc is incredible. And so in the number one spot, this was a really tight race because honestly, those last three are all awesome. And this is a very solid top 10 list, like comic book movies are some of the best looking movies on 4K that you can buy. No surprise there. Although, like I said, I'd stay away from most of the Marvel stuff. But at the number one spot, I have to have Joker. Um, I've referenced this a lot as a reference disc. And again, shot at 4K or higher resolution, completely finished in 4K. Todd Phillips and Joaquin Phoenix are an absolute powerhouse duo. The movie's incredible, but it just looks so sharp but also looks so classic like it doesn't look 
um, as crisp and as digital as the Suicide Squad, which I can appreciate and I really like. But Joker has like this almost 1970s, 1980s, like taxi driver look and feel to it. Some old Scorsese movie. And it has this very filmic feel that it almost looks like you've taken a movie that should have been shot in the 70s, brought it into, you know, the 2010s and crafted it with the newest technology. And now we have this absolutely amazing picture that you could just never achieve with the cameras they had out there in the 60s and 70s. But it it maintains that look and feel, which is what I love about it. It's like the best of both worlds. It's this beautiful digitally shot movie that has this old time look and feel. Now it also has Dolby Atmos audio, although it doesn't have a ton of great Atmos moments. The audio is clear as day, sounds great, it has a very good score, so that's a lot of fun. Has some good musical moments as well, especially towards the end of the movie. But it's just one of the sharpest looking 4K discs that I've had in my collection ever. And it will consistently make top 10 4K lists for me, even as I did them through 2019, 2020, 21, into 2022. If you asked me for top 10 4K discs of all time, um, this is one that out of all genres would probably make the list. Whereas some of the others in the superhero genre, they would not make an all-time list this is an all-time great 4k disc everyone should own it everyone should see it it's a stunner and i just love that combination of new school technology 4k resolution old school look and feel it's just the perfect mix for your home theater so that is my top 10 list of the comic book superhero genre there are some honorable mentions out there for sure like i said spider-man and spider-man 3 are certainly honorable mentions superman the movie is an honorable mention you could also throw in some stuff like shazam that was a pretty good disc as well a uh, bright burn is one that i really like another james gunn production um, that has some awesome audio moments although it's not the best visually it's a little bit different superhero movie i'd recommend i mean there's lots of these the amazing spider-man one and two on 4k those were great the andrew garfield ones my advice again would just to be you know very wary of your mcu stuff because marvel and disney they're they just drop the ball on a lot of their 4k releases uh and you're better off sometimes as sad as this is watching them on streaming which is why you only saw one of all the mcu movies only one made this list and it just speaks to the lack of quality on Disney's side when it comes to physical media. So that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if I missed any. I know that I added one to my collection after making this video, and it is Watchmen. I didn't have that on 4K. Total oversight by me. Never picked it up. But I have a feeling it may have made this list if I had owned it and had seen it. So I'm going to pick that one up pretty soon and add it to the collection, maybe do a review. But let me know if I missed any others, if you have any nominations for the top 10, whether you agree or disagree. Fill those comments up and let's have a good conversation. Also, make sure you like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, really help me reach that 100,000 goal. Again, it's for me as much as it is for the community. I'd love to hit it as a personal goal and a personal achievement, but I also want to do it so I can show that this community is for real. So help us get there. I'd really appreciate that. Make sure you check out all the links to these movies down in the description i'll link all 10 of them to amazon if you purchase them through amazon that helps support me and the channel so i appreciate that and then make sure you check out all my social media links and follow me on twitter tiktok instagram i'm always posting over there shorter form different content that's a great way to get in touch with me as well through dms other than that check out all the other links in the description for my affiliates and partners and sponsors of the channel always appreciate you guys supporting them it helps me it helps create more content helps me grow the channel much appreciated and yeah that's about it for the video so hope you guys enjoyed this have a great rest of your day stay safe stay healthy out there and i'll talk to you all soon